Um, <laughs> this music does not match what is happening right now. <laughs> yeah, what is if we show enough games, we'll get the soundtrack right. Oh, I'm too scared to go in this Let's Play. <laughs> he he really ramped down though. He started for Mortal Kombat 9, and then. Okay, so IGN does LPs now. How do I introduce my LP of Mega Man X? Some other games. <laughs> Yeah, remember the scene in Mega Man X where you fought a dragon? <laughs> remember the scene in Mega Man X when, like, all your music was set to, like, other video games completely inappropriately? Uh, we're on the Z's now, this should be the last game he shows. Oh, I see, the Brandon Brownson game. I know, so, I get it. so this intro screen pretty much consisted of something like 10% of original footage. We're be taking on our second boss. That was about a tenth of the video right there. I have to turn down his volume for that, like, horrible intro, and I have to turn it back up for his low-ass voice. Yeah, holy shit. Why is he so quiet? Speak up, dude. Nightwing. Oh, flame mammoth. He's a flame. Is this, like, a purple spaceship background? What the hell is happening on the left and right of this? Mammoth man. I don't know, maybe this is so the Mega Man X release HD or something. Fight. Maybe. And that's because after you beat Chill <laughs> Penguin, most of his stage is frozen over. This is um, pretty slow. According to various manga and well, stuff, at least we gotta hand it to uh, him. He's Penguin pretty informative. My primary source for Mega Man is Never manga. Really along, so this manga. Is kind of <laughs> Once you say various manga and, and mammoth, stuff, you kind of lost all credibility. So, the cool thing is, with this level, <laughs> all right, let me stay still for a second and explain this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's explain the various Mega Man lore and all the manga I've read. Now here's how conveyor belts work. I better show you how to kill these enemies over and over again. <laughs> I've read the Flame Mammoth spin-off manga. And by reading it, I learned that he was a mammoth! <laughs> he makes it sound like such a comprehensive let's play, but he goes right past that upgrade. Yeah, but that's because he didn't play Storm Eagle's level in order to get the helmet, so essentially he's doing this out of order even though he claims to be informative. So, and Didn't he claim that most people do this stage second, which isn't true? Yeah, I mean, it's stupid. By this time you don't even have the weakness to this boss. It's, it's most people who watch the fan sub anime. Well, I watched the LP manga, and uh, like, it does say treat to that. Volume 3, right? You made sure to read it right to left. Oh, of like course. Just, manga just enthusiast. Just and again, most just of the sure. enemies. Oh, is he really arguing that the enemies here doesn't make sense because we're into a factory and there are miners? Who's like, holy shit, crushing machines. Oh, I really didn't see them at all. We little boots to... Get right past oh my god, a crushing machine and a factory? I'm sorry, did he call them wheel boots? Okay, <laughs> wheel boots. Yeah, yeah, I'm really glad that we found this video because I'm learning so many things right now. <laughs> well, dag now we go, we strap on our wheel boots and go beat off the mammoth creature. At least one of us is learning something. Oh, here we go. The anime! The anime! What does the anime say about the lava droplets? Flame Mammoth is a maverick. Oh, oh. Very arrogant, very <laughs> and Mega Man Hex is a robot. Uh, wait, sorry. He's a robot. You know what I learned from the manga oh is that God. Mega Man has a, a shot, a cannon thing coming out of his right arm, would, in case like, anyone wasn't aware. And also, according to the manga, Mega Man X is also kind of slow and clumsy. Those guys relentlessly kick my ass every time. Who, the people at lunch? Oh, I'm sorry. You're talking about Mega Man, right? Oh well, yeah, because these enemies are really hard to figure out. <laughs> they might be in the people in the manga store too. Like really, kid, Mega Man X? Give me your fucking lunch money. Yeah, big as fuck. Yeah, maybe that's because these guys are not into the manga shop he's frequenting. <laughs> guys, you're missing out on the characterization of Flame Mammoth. And uh, as I know, he's before, a mammoth. He did not get along with Chill Penguin whatsoever. <laughs> that doesn't what matter, <laughs> Flame Mammoth and Chill Penguin would not go to prom so together, just like me and Stacy. That's why Chill well, Penguin messes we're up his stage when he gets in. defeated, is because they in. did not get along. In. Oh, there nothing he to do is. with the environment. And I'm gonna shoot you in the fucking neck. That was his foot. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, as far as his In the manga, goes, mammoth's dicks are on their feet. Like 
Uh, I'm not sure about shit, anything involving so genitalia, just to run out really won't do any harm. And I'm not really sure that I think in order to kill this boss, I should shoot at him. Much no, actually, you climb up the wall. Oh, yeah, that's true. And do nothing else. When you're I'm sorry, is the next five minutes of this video him hiding in the corner from Flame Man? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, the rest of this video is him fighting this guy. God damn it. Wow. Be because we all know that Flame Mammoth is the hardest boss of Mega Man. Well, when you do it like this, kinda. I think the manga spent four fucking volumes just on the Flame Mammoth fight. You know, if I dance under him, um, there are thirty or so pages where Mega Man X was up in a corner on the ceiling and defense. I once read a manga with a lot of ads for how to defeat Flame Mammoth, just in case this guy needs help. Let's try this again, though. A manga zine, they call it. In issue number four, Mega Man X climbs the wall. In issue number four, he stays clung up to him. In chapter five, he dies. Yeah, this is the first issue number six. He's apparently really blind and doesn't know where he is. I, I, yeah. I oh, there <laughs> much down Tip now, number one: while, When Flame Mammoth shoots a fireball at you, really maybe jump over it. And chapter Shit. eight: Make sure that you beat the Goomba and Super Mario Brothers. Is his goal to make X explode and damage Flame Mammoth? Maybe. Ass right now. <laughs> make sure you actually know how to use a controller with hands. Oh my god! <laughs> taking oh. Off Flame Mammoth. This is not hard. Even Flame Mouth is like, it's never been this easy. <laughs> Usually everybody that, kicks I mean, my it's ass. Pretty easy. Tell you what I'm gonna do real <laughs> Flame Mammoth is like, I read the manga and it should have been a lot harder for me to hit him. And in volume number 9 of the manga, if, if I had I to save up, my you know, volume in order to preserve it for later. Yeah, let's, let's save state just in case this gets really intense. Of course, if that ends up happening, <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen one of those. I'll cut it from that is this jackass trying to give us gameplay tips, really? Using these strategies, you shall win about 33% of the time. Like, you've already established you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Come on, stop hanging into that corner! Um, not Mr. Squibbles, another guy. His name is Josh Egris. He's supposed to be doing a Let's Play of Mega Man X. You've got worse problems than other people's Let's Plays, Brandon. Alright, I guess this is the time where we do plugs. Yeah. Check him out. Check him out. I I can't remember. I'd like to plug Flame Mammoth for being so effective. I'm going to be here for at least another hour, so I might as well fill it with. An annotation of sorts. If not, I'm sure that Josh will send me a Stop message. Stop plugging shit. I'm pretty sure Josh wants nothing to do with you after this video. Play. Flame Mammoth desperately wants him to show. That's a thing. <laughs> Trying to help a little Josh guy. will kill this guy in By about way, three I'll, minutes. I Unlike this guy who's taking in like Minecraft. twenty. But if you Did are, you hear that he's like trying to help a little guy? Dude, you got thirty-three vid views on this video and thirty-eight subscribers. Really Let's cool just put guy. it in I've perspective. Talked to him on a number of occasions. He's <laughs> one of the few fans who have actually, you know, taken the time to get a hold of me and <laughs> talk to me IRL. Or, well, IRL. Oh, did you say IRL? YouTube comments. He did. Shame. Really cool dude has a bunch of awesome Minecraft videos up. So wait, is this video now about Minecraft or Mega Man X? I feel like I feel like this whole video is fake and it's a commercial for other people's let's play. He's talking about more random shit than there was in the intro to his video. But yeah, it's a commercial for Flame Mammoth because he's trying to make it look so effective. I think that I feel like Flame Mammoth paid Dr. Wily for some like product placement kind of thing. Holy shit! Am I gonna beat him? Am I gonna? Yeah, it's a smear campaign against Mega Man. Suck my stave seat. Save state. Suck your, suck you your know stave I state? Meant. Really? That's your taunt? <laughs> suck on my cheating, ass. you asshole. Mammoth ass. I love that, like, I kiss my ass. I only died bit. twice and saved state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm the best. Don't treat this as a one sided She's victory, friend. <laughs> I know. Oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> what? And you got <laughs> Oh, this oh, is gonna yeah, be awesome. I'll finally be yeah, able to get on my barbecue shit. with that. Maybe my well, neighbor will finally pay attention to me. <laughs> How many fucking Mega Man so games give you a fire weapon besides fucking guys, all of them? Yeah, but this is the first uh, one where it's a flamethrower. 
Okay, so if you wait, go wait, back to the uh, wait, what? penguin stage after you have the flame on, we got some Donnie Darko shit going on. Oh wait, here. yeah, we have good gameplay tips. What if there was an alternate timeline, man, where X already had the fire wave in penguin stage? <laughs> what if there was an alternate timeline where Mega Man X couldn't figure out this tricky puzzle? Wait, he didn't need flame mammoth weapon for this. Shoot it with that. You shoot it with this. Uh, supposedly it does, but then again, it's not as if we're in any kind of hurry to get this. And fuck yes. Oh my God. Did, that, did that little two meters of heart really deserve a fuck yes? Fuck yes. I just bought milk. Fuck yes. Do you guys have the escape unit ready for us? Still at zero lives. Fuck yes. <laughs> I'm still a terrible at Mega Man X and Let's Play. Fuck yes. Give video hand fuck it. Uh, oh my god, he's trying to kill me! <laughs> ah! oh, I'm on the lookout! Oh, it's an emergency! Shit! Oh my god, we've been busted! Uh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> His credit, he really does have a couple of people, like. Wow. Yeah, how many people did he plug in this video? That was awful. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> So what exactly did we learn about Mega Man X and and yeah, pretty much everything else that didn't make sense? That was awful. <laughs> <laughs> that what the fuck? I don't think we learned anything. I learned that whenever I want to help you that feature every single game except the feature presentation, I'm looking for Brandon Brownson LP. <laughs> <laughs> oh sh oh shit! I did the plug just like he did. I I, I learned that um you can't play a Me Mega Man game and fully understand it until you've read the manga and possibly the anime. Mm -hmm. And once then you're you're set for the Mega Man story ahead of you. And finally, I have learned that in order to be successful against fighting Flame Mammoth, you have to die twice on him and save state. Only then can you say fuck yeah. Absolutely. Fuck yeah. Fuck yes. Fuck this. <laughs> Dead to rights? Dead to rights. Dead to rights.